Hey YouTube, how's it going? It's Quinton here and welcome to this WordPress video. And in this video, we are going to download and install WordPress onto our local computers. Now, before you get started going over to WordPress and downloading all the WordPress files, you're going to have to do something. You're gonna have to install Apache and MySQL on your computer. So uh, there are a bunch of different programs that you can use to do this. The program that I use is called MAMP. Uh, which I have open on my computer over here. And if you don't have MAMP, if you've never used MAMP before, go ahead and uh, watch one of these two videos. I'm going to have a video for downloading and installing MAMP on Mac and downloading and installing MAMP on Windows. Uh, pick whichever one is relevant to you and uh, watch the video so that you know where to install WordPress. Then, uh, if you already have MAMP, uh, you're good to go and you can continue with this tutorial. So let's open up uh, Firefox and go over to wordpress.org, which is uh, WordPress's website. And I'm going to leave a link in the description. And then you'll have to click on uh, download, which is gonna be up here at the top corner of the screen. And then you can hit download again. And that is going to prompt you to download a zipped version of WordPress. So pick wherever you wanna save this on your computer. Uh, I'm just gonna hit save and we'll put it on my desktop. So let me hit save. And that is going to download all of the zipped files. So, uh, oh, it's already done. I thought it might take a little bit longer than that. <laughs> okay, uh, so let me pull my zip file across here and you can see that I've got this version of WordPress or <laughs> uh, version 4.5 of WordPress zipped. Uh, on my desktop. And now what I need to do is move it over to the root directory on my computer, which in this case, uh, because I'm using MAMP, is in applications, MAMP, and htdocs. If you're using Windows, the path is slightly different, uh, but still you need to find this htdocs folder. And then you're going to want to drag WordPress into that uh, directory. And now uh, we can unzip this. And now we've got uh, some uh, WordPress files, but they're all in a WordPress directory, which can be a little bit annoying because if I go over to MAMP and I hit my open start, start page or web start page, uh, you can see that I've got MAMP open. And if I go to my website, which is uh, my local host up here, um, I can see the two WordPress directories. So this is the zip file, which obviously we can't use. And then I can go into WordPress itself. Um, and that is going to open up WordPress, but watch what happens to the URL. So the URL is now localhost slash WordPress uh, slash WP admin. And that means that we'd be running WordPress in a subdirectory uh, on our root. Uh, <laughs> wow. That is quite a confusing like uh, sentence to say, but we're gonna be running WordPress in a subdirectory on our root uh, domain or on our root folder. And I don't want that to happen. I want it just to be on our local host. So we don't want localhost slash WordPress. We don't want that subdirectory, right? So let's go back over to my htdocs folder, go into WordPress, and I'm going to just grab all of these files and I'm gonna copy them go back and paste them over here. And then I'm going to delete this WordPress directory because I'm not gonna need that anymore. I could also delete the WordPress zip file, although I don't think I'm going to, I might wanna use this in future, so I'm just gonna, <laughs> I'm just gonna leave it here, right? And uh, now if I close this and I go back to my website from the, uh, by the way, we're on the start page. Uh, so let's go ahead and hit my website. And this is going to open the WordPress installation. So now I can finally run through this installation of WordPress. Uh, go ahead and pick your language. Um, I usually just use English United States, although I could probably use English South Africa seeing as I am South African, but hmm, I wonder what's different. Let's hit continue and see. And uh, this is now gonna download a language file, I suppose. English United States would have been default and it would have probably not loaded as slowly. Okay, 
Uh, right, so <laughs> now we've got uh, to the next step of the installation and it's basically just telling us what's gonna happen from here. So we need to uh, set up a database and then we need to add in our database, na database name, username and password. Uh, so if you guys don't know how to set up a database, then if you're using MAMP, you can kind of just go over to, hmm, I thought there might be a quick link here. No, okay, well, uh, just go over to your local host. Uh, if I can type local host slash 8888 and then type in php uh, my slash php my admin. Wow, typing skills are not on point today. But uh, yeah, uh, go ahead and type this into your URL bar and hit enter and this is going to take you to PHP my admin and from here you can set up a new database for yourself so I'm going to hit new and uh, then I'm going to go over to database and just type in a name so let's type in wp underscore demo because it is a WordPress demo and then I'm going to choose utf8 for my collation so let's type in utf8 and I'll probably just have to scroll down until I can see UTF-8 general. Uh, and that is just the standard uh, code. <laughs> it basically just makes your database uh, Unicode uh, and English, the English version and not any of the others. Okay, so let's go back to general and then hit create. And uh, now we have an empty database, which is exactly what we need for WordPress, so we don't have to do anything here on uh, PHP My Admin. Let's just go back to the WordPress uh, installation and hit Let's Go. And now I can fill in um, all of these details. So uh, I'll show you where to get some of them. Uh, the word or the database name is what we just set up. So whatever you typed in as your database name, you're going to have to copy that and then paste that in database name. And then for a username, you can go over to your uh, start page for MAMP and scroll down and you'll see under, oh, there was the quick link that I was looking for a second ago. So by the way, if you don't want to type in PHP my admin, uh, just go ahead and click on that link. And then from there, uh, you can also get your username and your password, which are by default set to root and root. Uh, so let's go back here and just type in root and root and obviously our database host is our local host so we'll just leave that as it is. Uh, table prefix, by default WordPress will prefix all tables in the SQL database or the SQL database with the letters WP and underscore and I think I'm gonna leave it like that. So there's no reason to change it unless like you're super worried about security or something. Uh, let's go ahead and hit submit and now run the install. And uh, basically what happened there was we connected to the database and if it didn't connect, you would have received an error, probably because you can't connect to your database, maybe because your username or password is incorrect or uh, local host is incorrect or something like that. So uh, some part of the information that we set up earlier must be incorrect, but I did just show you where to get the correct info. So it's this page and then whatever database name you set up over here, right? Now, uh, we're need, we need to fill in this welcome form, uh, which is basically just uh, giving us our website a name and then also setting up a user so we can log into our WordPress website. So for site title, I'm just going to add WordPress uh, demo as the title. Username, I'm going to set myself up as a user, so Quinton. Password, you could have used a randomly generated password. I don't know if you guys saw that, but as soon as I typed in my name, it put in a password of password, which is very weak. And uh, I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because nobody else has access to my computer, so it doesn't matter if I have a weak password or not. Although if this were on a live server, I might wanna use a randomly generated password that is a lot harder to guess. Um, and then 
if you do not tick this confirm use of weak password button, you're not gonna be able to click the install WordPress button. So go, go here and check this box and then hit install. Uh, well, I'm gonna have to put in my email address as well. It means a lot of viewers are gonna start emailing me. Uh, <laughs> let's just type in uh, business at quintonwatt.com and uh, now I can install. Um, so uh, there we go, success. We've now set up a user and we've given our website a name. So let's hit log in. And uh, now I'll have to log in with the username and the password that I had just set up, which if you guys can remember correctly, was just Quinton and password. And now I'm going to log in. And now we're logged into the back end of WordPress. So this is our WordPress installation. And if I hover over the uh, site title over here, whatever you typed in as your site title will show up here. So I typed in WordPress demo, but if you typed in uh, my website or whatever, it's going to show up here. Then you can go ahead and hit the visit site button and that'll take you to the front end of your website which right now for me looks kind of boring. <laughs> but this is uh, the WordPress 2016 theme and it's just uh, one random blog post that was set up and uh, your website title. So whatever you typed in again as your web website title is going to appear here. And in the next couple tutorials, I'm gonna show you guys how to change all of this information and how to add more posts and add images and all that good stuff. So if you're ever logged out of WordPress and you wanna be able to log back into your WordPress site, uh, you might be at the front end of your WordPress site thinking like, hey, how do I log in? Well, uh, you just go to your domain name or your URL name, which in my case is localhost uh, four eights, but for in your case, it might be like www.yourwebsite.com and all you wanna do is add backslash wp-admin and that is going to let you log into your WordPress installation. So if I hit enter, there we go. I'm now in on the login page and I can just put my details in and log in. If you like that video, there are a bunch of things that you can do to help First of all, don't forget to subscribe, watch another one of my videos, follow me on social media, and if you wanna support the channel financially, you can also become a patron. Becoming a patron means that you're gonna to choose to help me pay for some of the equipment and the software that I use to make these videos, and also, hopefully, help me finish my degree. So go ahead and click on something, and I'll see you guys next time.